Reactions as P2B reveals the only experience that Lagos State LP governorship candidate does not have. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. P2B has replied to those saying that the Lagos State Labour Party presidential aspirant, Wedeba Rose Vivo, lacks experience to govern a metropolitan state like Lagos. Obiwa, speaking during an interview on the Rice Television on Monday, said that Labour Party candidate has all it takes to govern the state successfully. He said the only experience that he lacks currently is the experience of corruption, stealing and doing the wrong things. PW said he was, he was around this age when he became the governor of Anambra State and a lot of people said the same thing they are saying to God about to him then. He finally said that sometimes it is good to bring on board those inexperienced people so that they can come clean the mess of their claimed experienced people. And the viral video he said on a quote, what did they mean by what did they mean when they talk about expedient? When I first campaigned to become the governor of Anambra State, I have never worked in government before. I had no experience and I was faced with the same thing. I was his age then and everyone was shouting that I had no experience. The only expert that can claim he does not have is the experience of corruption, stealing and doing the wrong things. Sometimes it is good to be a person who does not have the experience so that he can clean up the mess on ground. Some of the reaction that show the post with us. Experience of telling, that is what you have. My experience about air. Eh? Which experience? Current governor get before Chunumbu choose them. Another opinioned, the experience and structure is all about corruption. Another commented, experience of corruption and stealing. Another opinioned, wisdom will not kill P2B. Another commented, it is obvious though that do not support GRV are benefiting from this old thief system and structure of corruption. MC Olomo comes to mind. Another commented, Nigeria needs to wake up. Another opinioned, masterpiece. Now, the thing is, that is why I always said, now, for the person that came out to say, for the person that came out to talk about, um, what's it called? Uh, what was I going to say? For the person that come out to, to say that um, Sam Olu himself, that is the current governor, which experience, that is what I'm talking about. The so-called person there, who is there now, who is the sitting governor of Lagos. Now, th this person also was a novice when he came into power. And he keeps saying that, look, it is those people that are novice, that are hand-picked by people and not hand-picked by political, god and political godfathers. When they are hand-picked by the people, they know they have a lot, you know. They know that it is them proving that they are worth that position or nothing. Nobody is coming to their rescue. Unlike um, someone who is experienced and who has a godfather and who <laughs> who has a godfather and who is going to do the godfather's bidding only sacrificing the needs or the will of the people. That is not the kind of person we have. I have used this scenario every time. I've always said those who they claim have experience. Those who they claim have experience, if you go for job interview, you see person, you see two people walk in, one has experience and one is a fresh out of graduate. One maybe has working experience. Let me just put it like that. You see these two people, the one that have working experience, you would think that that person is going to come in and is going to do better, especially when it's being referred. Uh, you know, we we'll be saying maybe in a MD or CEO or we we'll be saying now human resource person, you know the... Person, you sign no person for the organization, they can't refer you. Look, that person that is coming in and knows that, or more, nobody they reason me for here. It is either I get it right or I get it right. Else they're going to keep, if I'm not able to prove to them that I am bringing value to the table, they're going to sweep me under. Or maybe you, they employed you as maybe a general staff, you are going to remain there forever. If you do not prove to them that you know the kind of value you're bringing to the table and bring it to the table. That is it. It is the same thing. The person who was handpicked by Godfather will always have his Godfather to run back to. Now, what thing Godfather talks to making do? Now, he could do. Because now the man puts him for the position. He has his belief that is the man that puts him in the position. Do you understand? But for somebody who knows that, ah, between everybody, he no gets. He does not have. Eh? He does not have anybody apart from him. So, what, are, what will you be talking about? What will you be saying? He does not have anybody at all. He no say if they come out, if they come out the people, he no get anybody. He's going to be forced to, you know, 
You go do no say nobody they come to him rescue. If he no perform well, then go come out. You understand? Now listen to this. Ibo has Ibo has hidden agenda, but and God will destroy their plans. Which hidden agenda, beg? No, which hidden agenda? Because the last time I check, anytime these people come out and they're always speaking, do you know that these people even stand their chance to lose a lot? Yes, they stand the chance to lose a lot. These people. If you are saying they have how they stand the chance to lose a lot. If then say a worse comes to worse now. I don't know the hidden agenda this we are talking about. Oh. They have no agenda, bro. Lagos is not for one man alone. You need to wake up from your sleep. Alright, what was the experience some Allah had before to number picked him as can't be small picking? That is what I'm talking about. This is in governor of Lagos State, you know. Legosian said he was unpicked. Not he was un it is clear he was unpicked because they had somebody who was um what's his name? Again, the former the former immediate past governor of Lagos is um uh, Ambode. Uh -huh. So Ambode came in and you know, I don't know what happened between him and but I know he fell out with his political godfather and that is why he was removed. But if now the people put you in, nobody if you can't come out today. Nobody, except you know, perform well. Do you, are you now seeing the difference? All right. For information, Samuel was not the cabinet of Tolumbo since 1998. He was the builder of the infrastructure you're seeing in Lagos today, especially the Blue Ridge project. Oh, okay. But he does not have any experience in governing, right? We are still talking about the same thing. Peter was supposed to take the struggle to Northern State, whether he no go collect. But because the Rebel people are too accommodating, that is why he has the gut. To be displaying stupi stupidity, they are packing their people to Lagos because they don't want to want to claim another man's land. Really, their children that is supposed to be at school are busy doing more than they slave it to their masters like Obi. <laughs> you are bereft of knowledge. Better still go and get some good old adventure music and get wisdom. Thank you, Peter Obi. That's the experience they are talking about. Experience of stealing and sharing money. So, and like I said, there are times where you prefer a somebody who is, uh, uh, what do they call it? Call that person number. Somebody who is a fresher now, who has no peer experience. A rookie, thank you. Somebody who is a rookie. You prefer the person because the person comes in open-minded. The person is, you know, he, he creates ways, he sees possibilities. You know, say, I've seen the idea for that position. I keep repeating it. He knows that he only has him and himself. If he does not.